Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to restore your image quality using a free AI tool and finish it up in Photoshop. And with no further ado, let's get started. So this was the before of the image and uh, this is the after. Actually, this image, I shot this image in 2020 or thereabouts. And I couldn't uh, get my hand on the original copy of the image, so I went to Instagram, my old account on Instagram, set it out and downloaded it from Instagram. And uh, this was the result. You see that the image has been pixelated. Um, uh, the only way or the best way to restore the quality of this image is to use uh, this free AI tool. Link to the website in the description is replicate.com. That is the name of the website. But if you get to the website, you need to navigate to this page. This was the before applying this AI and this is the after. But let me show you exactly how to do it from scratch. So right here, we are going to drop our file here right on this portion of the website page. So I come to the area or to the directory where my file is the image file then I drag it into my browser and place it in this section and then scroll down here to the scale and we'll scale it to 8 and then submit this is the input and this is the output you can see there's a drastic difference between the input and output you right click on the image you save us you go to the folder where you want to save this Let's name this Enhanced <laughs> or Restored. Then click on Save and then the image you download into your directory where you saved it. Now if you come to the directory, you see the Restored file. You drag it into Photoshop. Uh, let's zoom in. If you zoom into this image, you see that uh, unlike the before, let me bring the before so that I see the before and after effect. The image quality is too low, that's why I see it at this size. So we scale it up to match the size of this one. So this was the before, this is the after, let's zoom in. So this was the before and this is the after using the AI to restore the quality before, after. But we can go a step further right in Photoshop here. You see that there's no more texture on this image. So to add texture, you come to your action panel. There's this texture called Slammy Digital Skin Texture. And uh, fortunately, this texture I'm giving it out for free. I already made a video on that, so check the link in the description to get the texture, the free texture pack right now. So you click to play this action. And when it's done, you zoom into your image and make sure you're on the layer maps. Take your brush, the flow should be as low as one or two. Let's leave it at one to have full control. And then paint over the area of the image you want to bring this texture or review this texture. So you can see that the skin texture or this digital skin texture is being applied to this image. Just like this. As you can see, you continue to do this all over the image and you end up with a result similar to this. A more detailed video on... Uh, the channel will show you exactly how to use this texture, even how to create this texture. So this was the before, uh, this is the after. You can go on to sharpen your image. If you don't already have this Slammy retouching bar, which contains Slammy Smart Retouch, Dodge and Bone, every skin tone, uh, link in the description. You can chat me up on Instagram to get this at a very affordable price. It's what I use to retouch my image from start to finish. So if this is the end of everything you are going to do for this image, you go to sharpen. <laughs> Click on sharp one to sharpen the image to give it a final appearance. I've already sharpened this image so you can see this is my sharp one. 
you come and reduce your opacity to a fine level. When you are done with it, you can save and upload or use it for whatsoever you want to use it. If you haven't liked this video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe for more amazing tip, trick, and photography tutorial. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.